Hi class, hope you all are doing well. I wanted to provide you with a bit of introduction for the contract negotiation activity this week. So this week we are talking about contract law and if you go to Blackboard and scroll down our module page you will come across this contract negotiation activity. So this activity will uh, need to be completed over the course of three weeks. So it's a little bit different because you will be working in pairs and it's going to be interactive. You all have been paired with one other student and each of you are required to complete one task each week. Uh, but I wanted to give you enough time uh, to complete each of these tasks as you will be relying upon your partner in completing their task. So as you can see, uh, in terms of the activity, you will have your first task to complete by the 26th, and then your second task by the 3rd, and your third and final task in which you reach a final agreement for your contract by July 10th. And by that deadline, that is when I will evaluate this particular activity. So you will not be seeing a grade for this activity for about three weeks because it lasts throughout that time period. Now to begin the activity, go ahead and open up this folder. And... Uh, read through the directions for the activity. Uh, essentially with this week being focused on contract law, I wanted to give you an opportunity to actually engage in contract negotiation. And so you will be creating offers and counter offers which include consideration that you stipulate to represent the particular party that you have been assigned until you and the other individual who is engaging in this activity with you, the opposite party, until both of you reach an agreement that uh, meets the interests of both parties involved. So please read through uh, the directions for this activity to provide you with additional detail. As you will see, you can find out who uh, who you have been paired with, as well as who you will be representing. So for example, in this first group, Ben Adams will be representing Danny, who is a snowboarder and his agent. And then Richie Rep Weber will be representing Alfred Ice, who is the president of the Rip and Shred Snowboarding Company. So you will see uh, who you're partnered with as well as what your role will be in this contract negotiation, which party you're representing. Now, if you continue reading down here, I want you to pay particular attention to these eight questions. When you are writing out your contract or your counter offer, you need to be answering each of these eight questions. So within the contract, how much should Danny get paid? Uh, what are the clothes that Danny should wear? How often is he required to wear these clothes? yada yada you can read through how long should the contract be so within the contract or the counter offer that you are making please make sure to address each of these eight questions it's very important these are the terms of the endorsement contract uh, these terms need to be reflected within the consideration of the contract and then here is the the process uh, that will happen within an endorsement contract uh, the company that is seeking an athlete to endorse their product is the party that will initiate the contract so the student that is representing Alfred and Rip and Shred will make the initial endorsement offer addressing each of these eight elements after that offer has been made the student representing Danny the professional athlete as well as his agent will review the information presented presented in that student's initial offer, so the offer made by Alfred and Rip and Shred, and then you will make a counter offer in which you are either agreeing to the terms, uh, to specific terms that were made in the initial offer, or, and 
most likely it will be a combination of this, you will propose uh, new consideration terms. You will make changes to the initial offer. And as you've read in the text, a counter offer terminates the initial offer. So you no longer have the power to accept the initial offer and you essentially are creating a new contract. So within the counter offer, you need to specifically be addressing these eight items, these eight questions. Now, for the terms that you write in your counter offer, some of the answers to these questions might reflect the initial offer if you agree upon those terms. However, some terms might be new and might be revised based upon the interests of your party. So within your counter offer, it's always important to look at the offer that was made to see, okay, I agree with this, I do not agree with this, this needs to change. And then in your counter offer, you are still answering these eight questions. Now the initial offer and the counter offer, those two tasks need to be completed within the first week. Uh, so the student representing Alfred and Rip and Shred, uh, what you should do is to review this confidential information for Alfred and Rip and Shred attorneys. Now. On my Blackboard, you're seeing all the information that an instructor can see. However, I have created an adaptive release so that only the students representing Danny and Agent have access to this confidential information. And only the students representing Alfred and Rip and Shred have access to this confidential information. So you are aware of the interests of your particular party, but you have no idea uh, what are the interests of the other party and you need to do your best to try and represent the interests of your party when you are making your offer and your counter offer. Uh, so review, once again, review these uh, directions for the activity, uh, review the confidential information uh, that is associated with the party you are representing. It will really pro uh, provide some helpful guidelines in regards to, well, the company would like these stipulations, or Danny would like to earn this amount and have uh, this length of a duration. And most likely, the final contract will not be uh, perfectly representative of your party's interests. However, your goal is to make it as close as possible to your to meeting your party's interests. Now, if you'll notice down here, once again, uh, this is an instructor view, so you'll see that there are uh, what, six of these initial offers. That's just because there are six pairs of students. However, within your Blackboard page, you will only see contract negotiation offer. So if you're representing Alfred and Rip and Shred, you will be responsible for initiating this process. So what you're going to do, this is a blog. You will click on this blog. And as you will see, for each of these blogs, it provides you with some background information on the negotiation or the endorsement deal, uh, which should be helpful. So basic scenario in regards to Danny as the professional snowboarder and Rip and Shred as a snowboard company uh, and this uh, negotiation, uh, what they're hoping to accomplish, as well as some general information about the athlete as well as the Rip and Shred company uh, that everyone has access to. Very basic information just so that you're informed when you're making these offers and counter offers. Now you'll see once again these eight questions that need to be answered in each offer and counter offer. So this is background information for you, um, but what you will do is you will create a blog entry. And in that blog entry, you will answer right in here, you will want to answer those eight questions. You might want to copy and paste those questions into this blog uh, and you'll answer uh, those eight questions and then you'll post the entry. Now you, as well as the student you're paired with, will be able to view your blog entry, which is important. Um, let's see because when it is time for Danny and his agent to make a counter offer, what they're going to do is you will first go into this contract negotiation offer, you will review the blog post which will pop up right here, which will represent the initial offer made by Alfred and Ice, and then based upon that initial offer, you are going to present a counter offer. Now you will make this counter offer in a new blog. And I'll show you where that is.
So going back to the contract negotiation activity folder, remember first week, the student representing Alfred and Rip and Shred needs to make an initial offer. So if you're representing Danny and his agent, you need to wait until uh, you see a blog post in the initial offer. Now if any groups are having difficulty with their partner not posting in time, please let me know and I can help facilitate this process. Uh, but once that initial offer is made, review it and then you will make your counter offer, counter offer number one, in this post and you'll see the same uh, background information uh, and you will create your blog entry and you need to make sure you're answering those eight questions. So that, uh, those are the tasks for week one. Uh, and I am anticipating that you will not be able to reach a final agreement after one round. Most of the time, employment contracts, endorsement contracts, uh, they take a long time. They go back and forth between agent, between the company, until a final agreement is met. Uh, and I wanted to simulate that process of it takes a while to finally find terms that are mutually agreeable to both parties. However, we're just going to go through a few rounds of counter offers until we reach a final agreement just for the sake of time uh, available in this class. So after the first offer and counter offer are made in week two, uh, counter offer number two, so Alfred and Rip and Shred, you're going to review the uh, counter offer number one, and then you will make a counter offer to that. Uh, so we're trying to refine and refine this contract until we can reach a final agreement. And in week two, uh, counter offer number three, Danny and agent, you'll read the counter offer number two, provide a counter offer number three, and the goal for week three is to come to a final agreement and if we click on this uh, once again you'll see the basic um, scenario and about the players but what I like the final agreement to look like is is right here the contract should uh, identify the duration of the contract the overall payment uh, the conditions for receiving the overall payment um, as well as any other terms or conditions that you and your partner came up with and then um, both students names uh, what I expect to see is probably a blog entry from both parties in which the contract matches uh, and you can go ahead and write your name under whichever party you're representing now if by the time the final agreement comes around you still need a couple more counter offers feel free to create as many blog entries as you need to in this final week but at the end of the final week what I need to see is a contract from both of you that match, uh, that represent a final agreement. And once you've completed that, I will review all of the counteroffers uh, and the final agreement just to see your participation and we'll evaluate this activity uh, at that time. So I hope that provides you with enough information for to know how to engage in the activity. Once again, your page will look a little bit differently than mine because I have every single group's uh, blog posts uh, pr present on mine. But make sure that uh, you are doing your part in a timely manner because your partner is relying upon your work in order to be able to complete to complete theirs. Make sure every offer and counter offer reflects these eight questions uh, and make sure you reach a final agreement uh, by week three. But stay on top of this every single week for the next three weeks you have a task and I'll be monitoring them to make sure that uh, these tasks are being completed and please contact me if you're having any difficulty in terms of uh, your partner completing the necessary work for you to be able to engage. Uh, enjoy this activity. This has always been really fun uh, in class to do and we're going to try this out online and I hope you enjoy engaging with the students in this class and I'm excited to see what you come up with. Okay, well, good luck and I will talk to you soon.